I need a Pokemon immediately, ASAP. I desperate, desperately am in need of Super Po- No. Oh, I can't buy Super Repels yet. Give me 20 of these bad boys. And you know what? Give me like, uh, two. Two escape ropes. And you know what? Give me that single- oh, I already have a burn heal. You better have burn heal, I eh? That shit's like... 21 super potion, sure, why not? Who's to say that that is a bad purchase? I'm not, because it's not. It can be a bad purchase. Yeah, hopefully Elisa is not gonna give me trouble. I don't think, uh, Clay is gonna give me trouble. Skyla is gonna be a pain, though. Now I think about it. Oh boy. Oh boy, Skyla. Skyla. That woman sure knows how to be a pain in my ass. My team is also not necessarily the best equipped for flying. Which, once again, is not a hint towards my starter. Oh god, it's you again, blue-haired spaceman. According to one theory, Mount Coronet is where the Sinnoh region began. Hisui. In a newly created world, a world where only time flowed and space expanded, there should have been no strife. But what became of that world? Because the human spirit is weak and incomplete, strife has spread. This world is being ruined by it. I find this state of affairs to be deplorable. Okay? Didn't ask. Also, if you surf across here, you can find the Dawnstone in order to get either Frostless or Grenade. Yeah, I snuck that little Hisui reference in there, like Hisui. I'm a very sneaky person sometimes, oh bye. Here we go. If I beat you, will you share some food with me? Man, do I look like I got food with me? I, I'll fish you up a magic arp, how about that? If you beat me... Oh, you know what? If I, if you beat me, I'll fish up a magic arp. If you beat me, you share, you give me your food. If I beat you, you figure out a way to make Magikarp edible. Because I still remember that episode from the anime. Very much not edible. I also love how Shadow just does fuck all when I'm recording. She just lies down and just basically waits for, I don't know, two hours or so. I guess. It's not, it's not two hours. It's one hour and like 45 minutes. But, I don't know, two hours sounded a bit better in my head. Let's go to the black man of the belt. Who doesn't look black at all, but shh. We don't need to go into racial problems. Also, I, today I learned about something that I don't even know if I should really talk about. So I'll just mention it. Red pill. There you go. People will know what I'm talking about. It's basically pieces of shit. I can't make it any simpler than it is. Women shouldn't have a right to vote. They shouldn't have any jobs. They're not allowed to do anything. They're just allowed to clean. And they're just allowed to... And also, gay people should not be allowed to have kids. Or adopt kids. Or have kids. Uh, because yes, gay people can have kids. That is actually proven. It by the way just goes against their gayness for like a little bit. Like one night. They're not gay. And then after that, they're gay again. Well, to be honest, it's mainly lesbians. Because they put... Can women push out the kids. Uh, but... They're not allowed to get married, or they shouldn't... Well, it's not that they're not allowed. They shouldn't be. And I was just like, uh, okay, what? What? <laughs> okay. Yeah. And it was because of just Pearl things. It's just, I learned about it, I was like, oh... No. Oh no. That is a woman that spews that crap about women. Women are nothing but whores. A 16-year-old is hotter than a, is hotter, hotter than a 25-year-old, which is like no. No. If you said a 20 year old, maybe we could have found some common ground there. But why the fuck did you go to 16? That's an underage. How did that happen? That is an underage child. So the answer is an automatic and uh, new. No. Rock 2. 
No. 16 is technically at underage. I mean, I don't know. It depends on where you live. Like, there are places that are just like 18, and there are some places who are like, eh, you know what, 16's fine. And then Japan is like, here you go, fuck a 13 year old. And it's like, ugh. But, um,. Outside of that, it's just like, I think here it's actually, like, it's legal. Like, 16 is legal. But let's be honest here. Let's just be honest here. 18 is the best way to go. However, I don't, I don't know how to feel about that whole, like, waiting until she's 18. Because technically you are following the law, but... But... Yeah, it's, it's a bit uncomfortable. But yeah, but apparently, the, like, I, I knew of those people, like, I knew about the fact that Just Pearl things existed. I don't watch her content. Sometimes I get, like, a short from her. I sometimes just click on it because the title is clickable, and then I'm just like, ah. I don't know what else I should have expected. Sometimes I agree with her. 99% of the time I don't. It's a say. It, it, she was also like, yeah, I, I, if, I'm gonna let my husband cheat. Fine, let him. Like, men are allowed to cheat and women are not. And it's like, uh. A hey, smartass. Last time I checked, it's a both thing. Wow. It's a, dude, 20? Oh, God, sucks. But yeah, it's like, nobody's allowed to cheat. What the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> the one thing that I found funny was like, divorce should be illegal. And I'm like, ah. Uh, what? <laughs> Divorce? Women should be jailed for wanting a divorce. Yeah, okay. Okay. Sure. And the funny part about that whole thing is that she isn't even married. She doesn't even have kids, but she speaks on the behalf of the parents. Like, you have Lauren Chan, who I actually watch. And, but at least, like, with her, you could say she's a mother. Alright, she has a kid. She is a wife. So she speaks from experience. But then you have, like, the fucking, like, Pearl, who just, like, you're not a wife. You're not a mother. You're 26. And according to you, you're already used up. You're, you're already wasted space. Nobody wants you. Because it's like, yeah, a woman above 25 has no uses to society, alright? You are either married, or you're just leftovers. And I'm like, eh? I mean, while it is true that women, as they get older, become less desirable, they don't become undesirable. <laughs> alright? It's just like, it's gonna be slightly harder for you. However... It's not gonna be impossible. So it's just like... That is so fucking... Like, I don't know. I've railed on the left as well for a bit. Where I just talked about the stupid crap they were spewing. But now I can finally do found something about the right. So I've attacked both sides. I feel proud. Come on, Elegant. What the fuck? But I feel proud of myself. I've done both. I've attacked both sides. Because I'm not on either side. I think both sides are fucking stupid. I think they're both retarded. It's simple as that. I hate them both. Just like... The good points that you make... Are completely overshadowed by all the bullshit that you spew. Like, if you say... If you say anything about Hitler... And add a butt in there... You are already fucked. You are actually fucked. I know Hitler was bad... But don't don't you add that button there? You you can you leave that butt out of here. Alright? Nobody wants that. Nobody fucking wants that butt. Okay? Hitler was a bad person. Point. Explanation mark. Done. End of sentence. Don't say a word, just take it. The odd keystone to get a legendary spirit tomb. Which is way easy to get in this game if you have two Nintendo DS's or nowadays a Nintendo DS and a 3DS. If you say Heart Home City, I only say this. Pokemon Contest. I'm going to enter my darling Pokemon in them. Alright, that's stupid shit. So Heart Home City is a great place. Every year it gets voted the most desirable place to live in Sinnoh. Really? 
Really? I don't actually remember if I changed the tip. The team's move sets for to fit. Yep, I did it with you. Uh, no, you're not a part of the contest, except out. I like the fire. Doesn't really seem like I did. But some of these could be cool moves, so. Uh, yeah, but you I did float soul rest and sleep talk the legendary combo that I always use for the cute contest uh, With you. I think I've done it as well just to give you some of them smart attacks and then with uh, you Wait, oh, you're 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 the only remaining one. You're you're, you're gonna be in the tough contest Some of these moves might be tough. I don't fucking remember but I know that Glyscore had some different movesets. I almost said the name, by the way, of the last Pokemon I'm gonna catch. Oh no! Nasty plot, da! <laughs> ah, click back on the emulator so I can actually walk again. Because A and D are mo used for movement that I like to play on the controller, so I'd use Joy Key. Joy to key. If it weren't for you, who knows how far my Binary could have run. Baby Binary, back into the Pokeball you go. Oh god, we got another gym ahead. I'm Kira, I'm a Pokemon Contest judge. Be sure to drop by the contest also so I can thank you properly. <gasps> she is offering to suck me off. I am 14. How old are you? You're a judge. You cannot be. You cannot be young, okay? You you just offered to suck off a 14-year-old. What's wrong with you? You're a trainer, are you? You've got two choices of challenges. Either the gym or a contest, right? Yes. And... In real life, in actual Platinum, I did both, but in recording, haha, <laughs> no. No. Sorry, the gate is closed for a while, we're, lo we're on location for a TV shoot. The Pokemon, the contests are inter interesting, but the ruins of Salatian Town are as well. I don't know when these people fuck off. I think it's actually Veilstone City. Like, in Diamond and Pearl, you can walk to Salatian Town, come back here, and then go down here. In uh, Platinum, you have to go all the way over to uh, Failstone City, and then you can come back here. But at that point, what's the point? I've given my Pokemon lots of puffins. I'm confident that we'll win our share of contests. I traveled a long way to take part in these contests. Apparently, so have I. But I'm not doing that on recording. Ah, Mr. Happiny Egg. I have a professor friend, and... This is what he told me. If you leave a pair of Pokemon with the daycare, sometimes eggs are found. Or things that are like eggs anyway. I wonder how my pal Professor Elm is doing these days. Yeah, I wonder that too. I met him like... Uh, season 6, season... Th three years ago. And I saw... and uh, I guess after that I haven't seen him since. He was always a quiet sort and didn't really stand out. That's entirely true. Did you know they find eggs to in the far off Johto region too? Did you know they found an egg at the daycare in Salation Town past here? I didn't. Let me past. Welcome to Heart Home City. Is there like a sign for Heart Home City? Warm and kind. Really? There's no like description. Well, what the fuck is this thing called? Hold the phone here. Heart hole. Oh, where hearts touch each other. Also, Gardenia did have a uh, title. I put it in my uh, title for my vi video. I'm visiting all the way here from the Hoenn region. <gasps> so am I. I had been hoping to find the contest hall. But being new, I lost my way. Fortunately, the local people very kindly led me to my destination. I was impressed by their kindness and generosity to a complete stranger. Now, may I offer you the courtesy of showing you to Cardassol as a fellow Hoennian? Sure. Ah, please follow me. So where are you from, Slateport City? I'm from Little Root Town. You don't say. Yes, so you know Professor Birch? He gave me my starter. Wait, are you Shadow? I am. Two-time Hall of Famer. I am, yes. There you go. We talked along the way. This is the contest. I'll please do go inside. I shall in a bit, but not yet. There's still more exploration to pull off. And then we got the Heart Home City Gym. When I take my baby out in his stroller, I see the town in a different way. I notice things like stairs and bumps in the sidewalk. That's kind of like me when I'm walking my dog. 
because I don't know if I've ever told this story, but there it's still here, by the way. It, this problem is still here. I I walk like a circle, or kind of like a more like a fucking square with my dog. No, it's the other one. It's like the longer square. I forgot the name. But anyway, when I wa uh, go for a walk with my dog, there's like two trash cans. There's like trash can A and trash can B. And close to the side of trash can B, there's just a bag of like empty McDonald's like uh, packaging. Just there on the fucking floor. The people couldn't have walked 10 steps to the fucking container and threw it away. That's the kind of shit that I notice now that I have a dog. Normally I wouldn't even care. Okay, I mean, I would probably see it, but I wouldn't necessarily care. But now Shannon wants to pick that shit up. Sometimes she can be really annoying, but by God, do I love her. That will never change. People all over the world follow Pokemon contests. What should I do? I could captivate the whole world. I have. Even though the whole world doesn't remember me. There are the contests. Then we have Midi Square. Midi Square. Hard home gets visited from all over, so things have to be nice and clean. My shroomish finds berries and things when we go to Midi Square. You don't say, child. Let's go upstairs and see what we will find. Ah. Fifth floor, I think. But that is so dumb. Oh, okay, we randomly walked to a person's home. I have something t for your Pokemon to hold. Take this shell bell. Ooh, shell bell. Isn't that a good it item? Doesn't that heal? Um... I think it heals, like, the, the amount of damage that you do. The Shell Bell should be held by a Pokemon in battles. The holder regains HP a little every time it inflicts damage. That was given to me when I was on vacation, but I already had one. Oh, man. Now we got the Heart Home City Gym up next. By the way, I'll do the contest when I come back to Heart Home. Where's me map? Um, I shall show you the road. We'll go this way, up here, over here, and then we go down here, and then we go over here, and then we go over here, go back here, and then go back here, go back here, and then we go this way, over to Celestic Town, where big things are going to happen. Because that's where the whole storyline that I have in my head will take place, aka the whole storyline of... Oh, thank God, I thought this was another stupid place. Hello, I'm a Jubilee, uh, Husui. I'm a Jubilee TV. May I hit you up for a quick interview? Sure. Thank you very much. Let's not waste any time. Your etiquette is quite appealing, isn't it? May I have a comment on your etiquette? No. No. Cancel. Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. I hope you will oblige another time. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Speak to me again. Hello, I'm a Jubilee TV. May I hit you up for an interview? That's not wasting time. Your trico is quite appealing, isn't it? That it sure is, my son. May I have your comment on your trico? What should I say about my trico? Let's see here. I have the perfect quote. Really? Perfection is not in here. Damn it. Agron. <laughs> Agron. <laughs> what? What? Nothing is in here. Oh, but Boo is in here, and Bored is in here. Get the fuck out of here, Boo-hoo. <sighs> what do I say? Anything in E. Easy, easy win. It's an easy win. Whenever I have Trico with me, he's an e the battle will be an easy win. That's what you get now. Thank you for sharing your thoughts with us. We'll be featuring this interview in an upcoming TV program. Please do tune in and see how you look on TV. I will look horribly because I always look horribly. However, in this game, I might not. Welcome to the Pokemon Fan Club. Oh, you're Trico. It's very friendly towards you. I can tell you treat it kindly. Of course, I do. He's my son. Hello, hello. How 
I say, do you do? I am the Pokemon Fan Club Chairman. Yes, in indeed, yes, I am. When you wish to treat your Pokemon to a treat, what I say, do you do? If I may say so, and I will feed... I feed Poffins to my Pokemon. And why, I say, would I do that? Because the giving of Poffins is a way of expressing your love. For example, if I were to give an... To give a sweet puff into the Pokemon eating, it would become more cute. For example, spicy puffin will add to the coolness of a Pokemon. In such ways, I say that puffins have nothing but goodness for Pokemon. Therefore, I declare this puffin case to be a gift from me to you. I urge you to fill it with puffins and be generous in dispensing them to your Pokemon. No! 